So Jimmy, you'll obviously be disappointed with that result to start the season. How do you begin to explain that? Yeah, really disappointed, Dan. Um, you, didn't, you never want to defeat on the opening day of the season, especially not one with a heavy one, 4-0. Um, you know, as much as we came here today, we knew it was going to be a tough task against what people are telling me will be favourites for the league, got a big squad, good squad. Um, you know, we always fancy our chances against anybody. Uh, and look, you know, I thought they've done things well. They're well organised. Um, they play how they want to play. They're well versed with that. But I just thought we were poor all over the pitch. Just a bad performance from start to finish. Um, individual errors, individuals not being good enough, were, led to us not being good, good enough collectively. And sometimes in life, I think when you're not good enough, you just got to hold your hands up. And yeah, I was disappointed. I was disappointed at half time when we were 1 0 down because I thought we'd just shown up and. We just thought, oh, we're here to make the numbers up, whether it was, oh, we're a new league or these are the the favourites for it or whatever. I thought we showed them far too much respect. Um, and we were sloppy in what we did, um, especially in our strengths. I know the grass has got a little bit of length to it and it was very dry, um, but we moved the ball slowly. You know, our touch let us down, our passing decisions, our choices. Um, yeah, they weren't good enough. And I told them in no uncertain terms at half time. Um, and we've conceded sloppy goals again second half and you know that's a trait that we want to be rid of um, you know they didn't football us off the park today uh, you could say the second goal was a good goal to be fair they've slid it in behind but I'm still going to watch that back and I'll just have a look at it because I, th I don't I don't really think we've made them work for any of goals the, the first goal you can say is unlucky it's a free kick takes a deflection off the wall wrong foots cheats and goes in the far corner but you've got to look at the build up to it of how we actually give the free kick away two sloppy balls on one clearance and then a pass on edge at box leads to a foul and um, just just poor and I told them that in dressing room at half time and you know the lads know I'll be fair with them but I'll be straight with them as well and if they've not been good enough I'll tell them um, so yeah disappointing day um, but we've got an opportunity to respond on Tuesday night so we need to make sure that we focus all our energies into that now because this one's done and dusted yeah and winning winning pre-season games is great but will you learn more about your team after today yeah, yeah, we're always learning, whether we win, lose, draw, whether it's a pre-season game, a league game or a cup game. But, um, yeah, there were certain things that I saw today, there was the odd thing that I liked and a lot of things that I didn't like. Um, but I've got a pretty good overview of my squad. I know what they're all about. Um, I wasn't getting carried away after winning six out of seven pre-season games. They don't count for anything. It's all about minutes in the tank. It's all about what happens here today. You know, you could have lost six or seven pre-season games and won here today and I've taken that all day long um so yeah as much as it's disappointing you know it's uh, we've got another 41 games to respond we've come to a really tough place a team that we think will be up there um and we've not got the result that we wanted because we weren't just going to come over here and lie down and well the plan wasn't to lie down and take defeat but ultimately that's what's happened but look, I've got a good set of lads in that dressing room. I'm sure we'll respond and it makes Tuesday's, Tuesday night's game a big game already, doesn't it? So hopefully we'll go out and uh, put things right between now and then and give the fans something to cheer about at home at Parks, uh, the home ground on Tuesday night. And Stephen Yorson came off in the first half. What's the early assessment there? Hamstring. Thought his hamstring was all right. Hadn't felt it all week. Um, and then just tightened up again a little bit. So he'll be out of Tuesday, won't play. Um, but look, you know, obviously Jordan came on for him. Jordan was unlucky today because it's just the way we decided to line up. Um, we win the tucked in off the right, but Jordan's been great. He's a, he's a great replacement for him, like that really good player. Like that's why we brought him to the club. So we'll see plenty of him going forward. And look, Steve's a massive player for us, but these things happen in football. We'll make sure he's right. We don't rush players back. I don't want him to you know, be uh, making things any worse than they already are. And, and at the end of the day, I was telling him that today. I said, if anything tightens up or anything, you tell me straight away, we'll get you off the pitch because we don't push through lads through things where they're going to be out for a long time. So, yeah, that's disappointing. Um, but it's, like I say, it's football. It's one of those things. Uh, and on a slightly more positive note, it was good to see Ben Turton involved in the first team today. Is it good to see that under-23s pathway in full effect? Oh, well, yeah, definitely. Um I'm not going to start mentioning names because I'll forget somebody, but the four or five lads who've trained with us in pre-season um, have, have done fantastically well. Um, and obviously Ben's managed to get himself into the squad, but there's two or three others who were going to get signed on, who were, who were, uh, who were in and around it, who we think could do a, did a good job for us. And it, yeah, the, the, the whole idea of the 23s and obviously now the under-18s is to create that pathway through. Um, 
them young lads have been in training with us all pre-season. They've held themselves really well. They've done well in uh, pre-season games and, and Ben did well when he came on today. I, I think he's a good footballer. So, yeah, expecting uh, good things from him going forward. Uh, and on to Tuesday night now. Considering the travelling that we're going to have to do this season, how important is that home form going to be? Huge, huge. We've already said that. Um, you know, we want to try and pick up as much as we can on the road and uh, and, and, and have a really good home record. Um you know, and, and, and look, I think we're capable of winning games home and away, I really do. But you, especially in it, now this has panned out like it has with the lateral move uh, and the extra travel. You know, we were, we were a little bit tight for getting here today, to be honest, for my liking, um, which, which didn't help. But that's not an excuse. You know, we had enough time to prepare and things like that. But the journey over was actually pretty good. We just... It was just a little bit tight for time. But, but I think, you know, the home games are huge, particularly on the Tuesday night. But it doesn't matter who we play. We'll always try and play the right way and in, in, in the right manner. And I think the bottom line today was we just weren't... We were up against a good side, but we didn't perform anywhere near like we can. So it's up to us now to go and put that right. My job, um, it's on my shoulders. It's a defeat, isn't it? So can't take the wins. We've got to take the losses. So, um, yeah, we'll be better. There's no doubt about that. And uh, looking forward to trying to put it right Tuesday. Okay, thanks, Jimmy. Thanks, Dan. Cheers.